Today we are going to decode the fifth monetary policy meeting of the calendar year. In the October policy, the governor retained the repo rate at the same level and hasn't made any major changes to any of the key policy measures. But there were a few interesting announcements that we should pay attention to. And he spent a lot of time explaining why the RBI chose to maintain the status quo in this policy. The philosophy behind maintaining the status quo can be traced back to something he said early on in his speech, which is that risks and vulnerabilities can arise even in good times. Today, we are in a good space. He referred to India as the growth engine of the world, given that the Indian economy is one of the few economies that is still doing well in these challenging times. The next uh, bright spot for India is of course the banking system. A few years ago, we had a twin balance sheet problem, which is now become a twin balance sheet advantage. The RBI is also encouraging banks to follow certain proactive measures to manage their risk effectively so that even when the tide turns, banks are protected and so is the economy. The third bright spot for us is of course that despite all this talk about inflation being high, core inflation has actually been on a downward trend the last few months. So these are all good uh, indicators of how the economy is doing. There are three things that we can keep in mind in terms of what we're worried about. So one is with respect to Karif acreage, with respect to oil seeds as well as pulses where the sowing has been less than last year. Um, the second thing that we can worry about is the external environment because a lot of things are changing globally and that could affect food as well as oil prices. Last thing is weather shocks. Given all of these uh, moving parts, the RBI's priorities are fairly clear. The inflation target is at 4% and not within that band of 2 to 6%. The RBI is keen on getting inflation back to 4%. Given the projections that they've shown us for this financial year as well as the first quarter of next financial year, it doesn't seem like we're going to be hitting 4% in this time frame. So the talk of rate cuts or changes in policy stance may come only once we reach that target and we seem to be in a good comfortable space going forward. The second priority for the RBI is in terms of liquidity management where they're following a more active approach to liquidity management. This means that uh, while there has been some system tightness in September due to GST as well as advanced tax, we are still in surplus and the RBI will respond to liquidity as the market also reacts to it. The third thing is with respect to rupee depreciation. Uh, while the RBI does not have a specific target uh, level for the rupee, what they have said is that they would intervene to manage volatility and there is no specific number that they're looking at. This was an interesting policy with a lot to unpack. What were your thoughts? Do let us know in the comments below.